So this is our annual open house where it's a chance for all of our student researchers and faculty researchers to share what they've been working on all year. Today I'm just introducing people to uh, 3D printing. The reactable. Choreographic visualization. Interactive evolutionary design. Live action green screen character. Diegetic prototypes. Game mechanics. Installation piece. Interactive immersive virtual reality system. This project is based on the uh, historical Apollo program. The goal is to try to create an effective learning environment uh, in virtual space, which would otherwise never be experienced in real world. When I was little, I feel like someday I may be able to go, uh, like a, go out space, but I, I now realize that I can go on the moon, probably not. My research topic was pre-visualization, which um, a simple way of explaining that really is saying it's like storyboarding only in 3D. And design fiction is about the future and creating what they call diegetic prototypes um, that make the future look more realistic, more believable, and thereby creating a provocation so that we can discuss the future, see what it, whether it's going to be the kind of future we want, and if it's not, what can we do about it? So what you're trying to do is you're trying to make you healthy by okay. What I want people to think of is, you know, do they stay and help the person out indefinitely, or do they ultimately do inside and help walk away? Just like a real friend of mine, actually. The computer generates a random population of samples. So you pick things you like and it shows you something that's closer to what you picked. So it's an ideation process. This particular work deals with animation. When you're evolving animation, it's important to be able to select the parts that you like. It's a way for designers to quickly come up with several good ideas for a design solution. Collaboration where we will be doing an uh, installation piece where we're projecting on a new building. It's actually an interactive media system. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's great. Game art class. It starts out just kind of technical and like how how do you just put together a game? Okay. As long as you don't do how to then make that game you know meaningful to people. No. <laughs> um, my research is focusing on game design and particularly um, the meanings behind game mechanics and how game designers can use those mechanics to um, convey meaning to the audience. showing a live action green screen character who's put into a 3D digital environment. An exploration of cinematography and, and camera concepts put together with uh, software concepts like render layers so I can control the camera, depth of field, lighting, all that sort of thing. So this is a uh, multi-touch table that has the ability to read markers like this. Uh, and these markers correspond to different numbers right now. Uh, they will be used to correspond to different energy sources. We like to create a lot of instruments ourselves here, and uh, this is just uh, one example of one that's being done commercially right now. If you can create an instrument that never existed before, then you can create music that never existed before. I knew I wanted to take out traditional lighting. My interest is if we take something like a video that you're used to watching at home um, in the younger generations and bring that into a space where maybe their parents are used to going and sitting and seeing live theater, we can create that cross-generational bridge. <laughs> I think the main thing that's special about the people at ACAD is that they have um, 
Let's see, what's the, what's the right word? Creative. Diverse. Generous. So open. Team. Discovery. Collaboration. Like intense curiosity. Curiosity, a sense of curiosity.